If you are truly being intentional in your life and you want to find love and you're just over the dating, okay, um, make sure to subscribe because this is all the things that I'm all about. I found my happily ever after my person. We've been married together for 16 years. So if, if that resonates with you, if you want no BS, straight advice on how you can find it too, make sure you subscribe, make this a habit where you can always find out when I post a new episode every Monday and Thursday. Is screaming okay in a relationship? You know, and let me tell you something. If you're screaming in any relationship, like I'm talking about even with your parents or your siblings, it's like, what are we doing? You know, and so I want you to hear me on this. If you're in any kind of relationship and someone's screaming at you or you're screaming at them, this episode is going to help you. Okay. Communication is so important and you know, it's a skill. It really is. And learning how to be aware of your own emotions, why you're feeling a certain way. You know, I, I feel like sometimes we're like, I'm triggered, fuck you. Like I'm tri like you triggered something and then you're like gonna go off on somebody. And I'm like, that doesn't give you the right to ever disrespect somebody, you know? And so I'm so much about respect and about being aware of your own emotions and how are you responding to things? And like, if something does trigger you, okay, like being able to acknowledge that and aware of like, what are you still carrying from your past relationships? What have you not healed yet? But like, that is not on that person. Like, you know, that isn't, that isn't justify or make it okay that you're screaming at somebody, you know, or calling them names or disrespecting them in any way. And so, you know, a lot of times, you know, we're in toxic relationships, but we are that person we're toxic. You know, sometimes we are the problem. We are bringing that in and, and we attract what we are. Sometimes we're, you know, you're, you're fighting yourself, you know, back and forth fighting with somebody and you're like trying to put, point the finger on them. But like, there is a level of emotional intelligence and emotional maturity that is required for you to put your ego to the side, like being aware of these kind of things and saying, oh my God, I'm, I'm so triggered right now. And, but this is because of these things that have happened in my past. This person has something to do with it. I sh need to take, you know, not take it out on them. What, why am I still carrying that shit? I got to heal. Let me sign up with a freaking therapist like, <laughs> and heal that shit, you know? But like, like, I just feel that so many of us are just not paying attention, not owning our shit. And Will and I, my husband and I wouldn't be at all as happy and crazy in love if we ever disrespected each other. We never have, like it, we really truly haven't. Like when we first met, it was so important to me to, you know, I, you know, that's how I operate. If you've been listening to me, subscribe to me, but I'm very much about being intentional, not wasting time, not tolerating bullshit. You know, I've been through so many relationships and situationships and I was tired of putting my heart into people that never showed up for me. And it was on me. I, was, I kept choosing those wrong guys. And so I got to a point that I was done with toxicity, right? But like, if I look back at myself and my past relationships, I would scream at people. I was shitty. Like, I would love to get a guy all jealous and insecure, you know, because I was insecure, you know? So like, the, it, but I did in the moment... I was so wrapped up in my own insecure bullshit that I wasn't able to even see it. You know, I'm, I'm in it and I'm just like, well, this, this is how things are. You know, I just never stopped to think that I'm the problem. And so, you know, are you the problem? You know, could you be the problem? Is it possible? And like, what can you do about it? And, and I think there's so much to be empowered with. Like there's, there's so much like for you to be, oh my gosh, excited about. <laughs> Cause you're like, wait a second, I don't want to be the problem. But the good thing about that is if you are the problem, you could do something to actually change it, you know? And are you okay with that? Like sometimes I'm like, you know, people are like, I'm awesome. I'm amazing. I'm not going to change. And I'm like, well, shit, if you don't change, nothing's ever going to change. You're going to get the same results over and over again. So if you want different results, you're going to have to change.
Oh no. <laughs> and let me tell you, I trust me, I'm not the same person I was, you know, years ago and I keep changing and I keep growing and I'm all about growth. And the way that I met Will, trust before Will, you know, when I was in these situationships and relationships, I was not the same person. I took steps to freaking change. So you're listening to this and if you, you know, you want to keep getting this gold advice because it is gold, make sure you subscribe on YouTube or Spotify or Apple, leave a review if this is resonating with you. But like, I want you to challenge yourself. Are you part of the problem? Are you the one screaming at people or your, your partner? Are you bringing that toxic energy? Are you feeling jealous and anxious? Where are you? Where were you? Why aren't you calling me? Why aren't you texting me? What's going on? Like notice how you're feeling, what's triggering you and like, what are you willing to do about it? Because if you want your happily ever after with a partner that shows up for you, makes you a priority, you know, you need to be that partner. You need to be secure and, and, and full of love and got your shit together. You know, like, and, and you really got to take that, make sure you love yourself enough where you take those steps to heal any past wounds, do that inner work. So you are the best version of yourself for your partner. You got work to do <laughs> and you know what? That's okay. That's amazing. I'm going to drop something. I'll drop a link down here too. Like I have free resources and I will drop things for you. Um, and I, right now I'm not even thinking of what, but I will <laughs> do something for you because I want you to understand there is an amazing happily ever after it exists. And there's work that you can do to make sure that you're fully aligned to receive it. Okay. So if you're in a relationship, any kind parents, siblings, anything like that, and you're being toxic, trust, you're not fully aligned with your highest self. Okay. So I hope you can receive that. Understand I'm saying that with love and thank you for listening. I appreciate you. Do not settle for anything less than crazy love because it has to be crazy love or nothing. Until next time. Thank you. Thank you.